thanks for clicking on this video, Brave Shadow here. Today we're going to be talking about the Xbox 720, or otherwise known as the next box, the Xbox 8, the Xbox Infinity, the Xbox. So this next Xbox that Microsoft is going to be revealing, May 21st, yes I did not stutter, May 21st. So I was saying this, there's been a guy named Paul Thurot, Thurot, something like that, something of the sort, um, on IB Times. They actually talk about the price point of which the Xbox will be sold at. Now, the Xbox is going to be coming sometime this November. Still all rumors, but this guy has been spot on so far, so you can really kind of kick back and depend on what he says for now. Um, so, yes, the starting price is going to be $500 coming out this November. $500. That's only $100 less than what the PlayStation 3 was sold at on the start, on the release. So, with saying that, they're also going to have another model, which was going to be $300, and each month you can pay $10 off on that console. Overall, by the two years is up, you'll have paid $540 for your Xbox console. So, with saying that, the Xbox is going to be pricey, but it's going to be pricey with a reason. Reason being is it's going to have that DVR. I mean, you know, having everything in one place. You know, you're going to have your TV shows, your music, your blah, 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 all in one place, your gaming all in one place. Also, it's going to have other, you know, graphics cards. It's going to have a lot of expensive parts put together. So it makes sense why it would be an expensive price, but I feel like they should probably try to at least sell it at a loss so more people can get the console in their hands first but I guess they're gonna just go flat out and just bump that price as high as possible now for those who have been keeping up with the gaming world and the next-gen gaming world um, the PlayStation 4 has been uh, predicted to cost four hundred and twenty nine dollars base price so instead of you have five hundred here and four thirty here so kind of comparing those, it's like most people are going to obviously go with the cheaper one, but not to mention the Xbox also has that uh, option to pay $300 and then pay 10 bucks each month. Um, so, you know, it's still up in the air. I don't know if Sony's going to do that. It would be wise to. I mean, if their base price is going to be like 430 they should do a cheaper console that's like 200 and you pay, you know, 15 bucks a month every month. I mean, that that's definitely... A really good deal when it comes to not having a lot of money like on hand at the time and just being able to th lay down 300 bucks and then pay 10 every month. Another thing I would like to talk about before I end this video is I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more gameplays. I'm sorry I haven't been on top of that lately. Um, I've been trying to do at least one video a day but that hasn't been working out so much. I've been really kind of releasing the videos out in clusters so just bear with me. I'll be getting your news as soon as possible, and I'll be getting those gameplays on here as soon as possible. So, as always, see you guys later. Shadow out. Game on.